Hey Water Signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your uh, love reading for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, you won't find a date on these daily messages anymore because I got a download not to put the date down because people are missing their messages because they're thinking that it has already passed and people are on different, um, different places in their timeline. So I'm no longer going to be putting dates on them for now. Uh, when you see the message, it's meant for you. If it resonates, uh, apply it to your situation. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. That way you will be updated when um, I post videos. For those of you who have already uh, subscribed, thank you for continuously supporting my spiritual journey. So, all right, I'm going to tip you down here so we can get started. The first card out will be your guys' um, overall situation uh, that you're dealing with. So, can we get one card? Thank you. All right, so just focusing on yourself or your person is um, gaining some independence, um, really focusing on how to raise your vibration, how to um, become more, um, just become a better version of yourself. This is a very high vibration card. This took a lot of work to get to this point, so you should be uh, very, very happy with yourself water sign. So let's get one card for your energy. One card for our water signs, please. One. Thank you. All right. So this is why you've been working so hard on yourself. You are most definitely leveling up um, becoming a higher vibration because you're going through a very uh, deep spiritual transformation, purging out um, the negativity, purging out anything in your life that does not support your dream, your goals, your aspirations, and what you see in your future. Um, this is most definitely bringing you into a beautiful, beautiful independent energy where you can tell that the hard work that you put in during this death process um, has paid off. All right, who is our water signs dealing with, please? One card. One card for our water signs person. Thank you. All right, the Eight of Wands. So um, they're opening up communication with you. Um, this person could have left in the past, and it really pushed you into this spiritual uh, transformation. You may not have uh, wanted to enter that. You may have went in kicking and screaming. But now that you've gotten this far in your path, in your journey, you are starting to see the blessing in what the person that blocked off communication with you did for you. They really brought you to a new place of self-discovery, of self-investment, um, you know, you're finding your confidence. This, you have never been better, water science. The person you are dealing with, however, is opening up communication with you again. They can tell, they can feel that your vibration has um, risen. They can tell that, they can feel, like this is an energetic pull to contact you. These are coming in very fast, very quick, and very to the point. Um, this person's wanting to see you. Let's see what blocks you have, water signs, to the connection. Ooh. All right. So your blocks to this connection are at a crossroads. You're not sure if you want to go back to this person. They really hurt you. They caused you a lot of pain, and you've come so far in this transformation. You have done so much work on yourself that you're not sure if you want to trust this person with your heart again um, because you never want to return to that place that they left you in before. So you're really trying to decide whether or not to even um, give this person a second chance because you've really uh, come to a place where you have filled your own cups. You have, you're very happy. You're very content. You're very, the nine of pentacles and nine of cups is you are so confident, so you are in such a good place right now, and you don't want to risk um, giving this person the chance to ruin that for you. Um, the person that you are dealing with, their block is they are moving very, very, very slow, um, almost so slow they're stagnant. They could be feeling stuck in a um, situation that they feel it's hard for them to get out of. When they left, that's where they could have went. They could have went back to a past relationship. One more to equal out the energy with their blocks. Ooh. 
All right, the Nine of Wands. Yeah, not having the courage to fight for this relationship, causing a lot of heartbreak in the past. So what's blocking them is they don't, they don't know how to fight for this relationship. They're moving very slow because they're hoping that nobody will notice them slowly inching away. Um, because they don't know how to fight for this relationship because they fear they fear wherever they're at hurting that person or what their friends or family or whatever will think um they're very fearful of moving forward so they're taking it very slow trying to calculate their every move but if you notice the way these cards are sitting the blocks are neither one of you are looking at each other you're looking at this way to decide what path you're going on this person's looking at this way moving slow and exiting stage left and and nobody's looking at each other um, during this whole process. What's Spirit's advice for our water signs? The King of Swords. So, <clears throat> the King of Swords has gone through a major transformation as well. As you see the butterfly wings behind him. Um, you have thought long and hard about this and the time is now to take action. You have kind of taken a step back and not really... Um, you know, not getting too excited about this person's offer. Uh, Spirit's advice is to think over whatever uh, offer they come forward with, but to um, take action moving forward, no matter what, whether it's with this person or not. Don't get stuck or hung up in uh, in this situation. Wow. Spirit's advice for them is the hermit. They need to um, they need to stop doing this, inching away from wherever they're at, because they're not going to fully leave it until they um, do some deep reflection, until they decide to take the time to do some introspection, like you have done already, and decide where that inner light is going to lead them. Inside that lantern is the star, so they need some healing as well. This person has some childhood hurts or past life hurts um, that they need to deal with. Um, that is why they're fearing leaving where they're at. They could have come from a broken home as well, and they fear that for their children if they have them. But when they go in this time of hermit, um, they're going to realize now he's turned towards you. You see that? Um, that he's going to see that you are the star. You are the healer. You are who's going to bring him to the spiritual place. So the two of you are going to come together in this connection. Uh, Spirit's advice for you is just to, you know, to sit there, take a step back, really think about what they're offering you. And when it sounds good to you, take action because you are very spot on. Your energy is amazing right now. They are, their advice is to go within and find that inner light and follow it. And they will as well. Your guys' overall outcome for the reading is the Four of Wands. So this is going to come back into, um, after they, you know, go within and you just, you just sit there and be pretty or handsome or amazing, whatever it is that you're doing, because you're right where you need to be. You're right on the right path. They have to do a little bit of catching up, but in the end, in the next four weeks, this um, will, uh, four weeks, four months, this will go from you being single into a stable, uh, secure relationship with a solid foundation built on love and trust and honesty. And um, from the looks of it, more than likely a twin flame soulmate connection. Um, if you're not in that uh, journey, this is most definitely is a life partner um, because this is stability that will last for the test of time because the, t the time was taken to rebuild your foundation. They're going to find the time to rebuild their foundation. And when it comes together, it is going to be successful. The Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving, but they're the only one that gets to the finish line. And when they get to the finish line, they are in the perfect position to um, build this stable home with you, this stable life, this stable connection. So let's see what your guys' guidance card is for today. So just be patient, water signs. It is coming um, you have done the hard work, you have put in the hard work, um, and it is most definitely going to be worth it. All right, your guys' card of advice is to love yourself enough to say no to others. Demands on your time and energy, set your boundaries. That's exactly what Spirit's advice was, to sit back, see what they're offering. Um, don't give too much of yourself. You have already done so much work to get to the place where you are at. You don't want to just jump right in. You need to take some time to think about their offer. Your bottom of the deck is home. Your household situation is improving either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Look at that. 
beautiful match to a lovely reading. So, all right, water signs. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Like I said, um, there will be no dates attached to it. When you see this, it's meant for you. So if this resonated within the next four weeks, four months, it looks like some beautiful um, energy and a beautiful, stable commitment is coming your direction. So I hope you guys have a beautiful day. God bless.